Nityanandam, this is my Nitya Ovyananda, coming to you live from Nityananda Pilam, Bengaluru Adinam. Today I want to talk about some interesting facts that Swamiji has been giving about education. See, in this day and age, the way of the universities and school system is basically becoming redundant and obsolete. The books that were made are no longer useful. The information is not being updated any longer. So we just keep studying these same old dusty books that have been there for so long. They don't leave any room for any updation in the universities. So what it is is we're just memorizing and regurgitating the same information over and over again. But in the Vedic tradition, everything is kept fresh and alive and new, and there's room for updation in Hinduism. Because as the ages change and as the society changes, things have to be updated. Things have to make sense for the people as they are at that time. And the main thing is not memorization. Memorization is such a waste of energy. What's important is hearing about a teaching, learning a teaching, and then sitting there and internalizing it. Internalizing and internalizing it. So having a discussion about it, getting it into your system, especially when it comes to spirituality and the science of enlightenment and consciousness. These truths coming from the Upanishads and the scriptures, they have to be thought about and internalized. What does it mean for me? It makes us question and go deeper into ourselves and discover, discover the important, important points, where our blind spots are, what we can improve. So Swamiji talks about how if you're still learning in a university, that you're basically wasting your time. And the new, new thing he coined is the Google confidence. That is going to be the way of learning. So places like universities instead will be setting up uh, places where you can access the Google. Basically anything you want to know is on Google as it is. The only thing not on Google is manifesting Shaktis. So for that you would come here, take Inner Awakening with Swamiji, and learn about the Shaktis and manifesting the powers of Sada Shiva. But anyhow, Meanwhile, we'll be taking classes and doing all our research online. Because if you really think about it, people spend most of their time online now, as it is. And anything you want to know, you can Google it. And if you can't Google it, you can go on YouTube and learn how to do it. So anything from making your own car, to knitting a blanket, to getting a new hairstyle, everything is on Google. And even now, we're taking responsibility for giving the information about Hinduism. You can go and you can look up pujas and other things. And Nityananda University is starting there on internet also. So there you'll be able to learn more about everything that has to do with the Vedic tradition. It is the place where people can come together, the internet. Billions of people around the world can come together and learn. We're no longer stuck with having to listen to one dictator or one government official at the head of a country. We can actually come together and learn about other people and get an unbiased opinion about what's happening in the world. The internet is a super big important tool and it's going to change the face of education today. And one of the greatest ways that you can expand yourself as a seeker or as a spiritual person or as somebody who wants to know the possibility of who they are and what they are in this universe, you can come to India and you can come to Bengaluru Adinam and experience the avatar. His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda. And you can take the university course, the 21 day inner awakening program, under the Nityananda University. And at the end, you'll get a certificate that says that you completed this great enlightenment course. And you will begin manifesting Shaktis, which are the powers of Sada Shiva. And I will just give you one example of the things that we're doing now. For example, we're moving a coconut with our third eye. What does that mean? So we're, we can show some trickle that we can move a coconut without touching it. But if you think about it, what does it have to do with the medical field? So instead of cutting somebody open invasively, or if somebody has a tumor, say, on their spine, you can't open them up because you, have dam you can risk like paralyzing them. But using the third eye to remove tumors without even cutting somebody open, can you imagine what that will mean for the medical industry, for people's health and well-being in their lives. There's so many things that can happen with this, and I'm just giving you a small inkling. You'll have to stay tuned because we'll be releasing more information about that. Anyway, just wanted to give you a little insight on some of the amazing um, 
and profound things that Swamiji is saying about our world today and how things are going to improve and change because of him. Stay tuned for more information and please see the link below and go to Inner Awakening website and sign up today. Thank you very much. Nityanandam.